Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real L Guide. Come and join me for the 250th review. Let's have a beer. I'm very excited about this. Obviously, I've hit 250 reviews, a big landmark. That's a lot of beer. It's taken just over 18 months to achieve. I've been doing about two to four, started off doing two a week for about a year. I've upped it to about four to five beer reviews a week. So it's a long, long 18 months of great, great beer. I'm loving every moment of it still. 250 reviews. Thanks to all you guys for supporting me. The channel is getting bigger all the time. I love it. I love watching everybody else's beer reviews as well at the same time as what I do. But we've got a very special beer here for the first review. For the 250th review. Sent to me by MyBrewerryTap.com I really appreciate this guys because this beer, as of the 30th of July 2011, costs about £45 a bottle. It is the outrageous Brewdog. Sink the Pismac. There you go, 41% ABV. I'm just going to try and get it to, there you go. Right, it's properly focused. IPA for the dedicated. Now then, I just, if you, if you wish to pause the review once this focuses and read the bottle, it's entirely up to you. You may notice it's got a special cap on. That's to reseal it because it's such... You wouldn't be able to drink 41% unless you're some kind of animal. <laughs> you can reseal the top. I have drunk some of this before now just to be able to gauge and try and give my proper view on this. I'm not really a spirit type of person as a drinker spirity drinker so I basically I've tried to get my head around this before the actual review so it's been open but it is a fresh bottle okay yeah thanks for the sponsor my brewery tap for sending also many many thanks if you remember BB Barfly sent me the opener bbbarfly.com look at the the metal is um, it's like a grey colour. Put that away. Now look at this one. Brand new. They've redesigned it. Look at the nice... I like the shiny glossy metal. It's much better. And look at this guys. The Real Ale Guide. He's made my own custom opener for me. Isn't that fantastic? With the British flag on. Thank you, Brian Becker. Thank you, Serge. Can't pronounce your second name. Sorry, mate. But what a fantastic opener. Go to the website. www.bb2bigbsbarfly.com bbbarfly.com They send them all over the world. Let's get this beer open. We're nearly four minutes in. What am I expecting? I'm not going to pour an awful lot out. Look at that. Look how thick. Actually, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. Totally changed my mind. I'm going to pour it all out. So what are we getting? You wouldn't expect a head. You really wouldn't expect a head for a 41% beer. It's very, very thick. Very, very, I can, I can smell it from here. What does this smell like? Oh, first of all, the colour is very dark brown. Kind of looks a like, little bit like muddy water. Give it a nose. 
Wow, that that nostril just took a batter in. <laughs> that was so it went right up. This one might be blocked, but real, real strong, strong, spirity grapefruit nose on this one. Much more spirity than, but there's definite grapefruit tones in there from the hops. It's been quadruple hopped. It's been frozen to get it up to 41%. I'll give you a little bit about the history now, but I'm going to get into this beer. And it's, it's quite pleasant. It's quite pleasant. It is absolutely stone dead a 41% beer. It is absolutely 41%. Of course it is. I can feel it. I can feel it. It started in, in, in the cheeks, really produced a lot of saliva. It then, as it went down, the alcohol burn followed all the way down. And it's now in the chest. I've got an alcohol burn in the chest. You're going to get that for 41%. But you definitely get grapefruit, and I, I do actually like the mouthfeel. It's got a very, very uh, strong coating mouthfeel with it. It's just, it's just thick. It's, it's kind of like a syrup. Let's go again. Get a lot of licorice to be honest, an awful lot of licorice. Slight hints of toffee, but what I'm trying to do is pass the alcohol. I'm trying to forget about the alcohol because it is very, very predominant. I'm trying to pick out flavors. I don't really want to mention the alcohol too much, but yeah, there's toffee, there is definite licorice and grapefruit. Let's not be shy, let's get into this drink. Don't be shy with it. Final thoughts coming up in a second. I just want to give you a couple of things before I go. Sink the Bismack as our rape beer, 30th of July 2011, is the third strongest beer in the world. It was the first. It was the strongest beer in the world. But then a German brewer has come out and brought out a beer which was 43% and that is a Schorsch Bock. 43% ABV. Brewdog. Hick back completely then, saying, we are not having this. We are not having this. We brewed the strongest beer in the world, 41%, sink the Bismarck. We've been caught out again by the Germans who have brought out a beer called the Schorstock, which is 43%. They brought out another beer, which is called End of History, which is 55% ABV. So there was a bit of hit, hit in, and then it's like a game of tennis. Sink Bismarck whacked the ball over, the Germans have hit it back, and now Brudov hit it back again with the end of history. So, as of today, the 30th of July 2011, Sink the Bismarck is the third strongest beer in the world. But I got this from Rape Beer, but I believe there's an American Samuel Adams beer which I should have probably looked up on the internet. I believe that is something like 50%, so there might have been a bit of confusion going on. I want your comments in the box just to see. I'm sure you guys will know in America, if you're watching this, is there a beer from Samuel, Samuel Adams, um, which is 50-something percent. Okay, I'm going to read a bottle. Brudo, beer for clever humans. Brewdog's beer and the epitome of pure punk. We brew uncompromising, bold and irrelevant beer. Irreverent beer. Beer with a soul and a purpose. Our approach has been the same concept of the mass market beer market that the old school punks had for pop culture. Brewdog is a modern day rebellion against faceless corporate bureaucracy and the bland, soulless beer they industrially produce. Ditch the mainstream and say, say hello to Brewdog. Say hello to Brewdog. 
but probably go out and buy their punk IPA, I'd say, if you haven't tried any of their beers. Maybe with barley, hops, yeast and water. Can you believe that? Barley, hops, yeast and water gets 41%. Magicians. This is talking about this beer in, in uh, detail here. An unsettling development has arisen in mainland Europe which Brewdog have found impossible to ignore. And with their 40% ABV beer, German breweries have infiltrated our front lines, slipped under the defences and straight onto the radars of you, the noble beer drinkers of, you, of the Empire. We ask of you to keep calm and carry on while saluting the valiant efforts of Tactical Nuclear Penguin, which is another Brewdog beer whose fall has allowed the Germans to recapture the world's record for the strongest beer. So you kind of get the idea of what I've been mentioning here, of coming back and forwards to the strongest beer. So the world record is End of History by Brewdog. We are wheeling out the big guns this time. Sink the Bismarck is a quadruple IPA that contains four times, of ho four times the hops, four times the bitterness and frozen four times to create a staggering 41% ABV. This is IPA Amplified. The beer, evocative style of the craft beer resistance with the volume cranked off the scale. Kettle hopped, dry hopped, then froze, freeze hopped for a deep fruit, resinous and spicy aroma. Absolutely. A full out attack on your taste buds ensues as the incredibly smooth liquid delivers a crescendo of malt, sweet honey, hop oils and a torpedo of hop bitterness which lasts and lasts. I really got a lot of licorice as I say. Thanks for watching my review of Sink the Bismarck. Thanks to my brewery tap for sending me such an expensive beer and for supporting me on the 250th review. Question is though, where does this beer stand in the beer world? It's great producing world record beers. It's great to get a Guinness Book of Records. But me personally, I'm a man who likes to go into a pub, order a nice hoppy, bitter, malty, 4-5% beer and have three or four of them talking to friends and family. This beer, for me, kind of, it doesn't have a place in the beer world. It just doesn't have a place in my heart, really, because it, it doesn't suit my, my lifestyle. As I just mentioned, I like to go to a pub or I like to sit and have a drink with a wife, Mrs. Real Ale Guide, and, and have a quiet few drinks and have a conversation and not if you were to drink the whole of that bottle you'd be in an ambulance so I don't really know where this beer fits I could totally understand where they're coming from they want to have a world record beer but I just don't know I just don't know so I'm not gonna rate this well yeah I'm gonna rate this beer let's have another sip and let's rate it and I'll leave you guys to to comment and subscribe and whatever you want to do It's it's more a spirit. I really see myself drinking this on a winter's day if I if I kept the bottle till the winter. Um, but other than that, it's got. I, I got to put it in a in a in a place where. I need to be able to go to a pub and have a drink and have a good time with my family and friends and have three or four pints. So for this it gets a seven. Seven out of ten from the Real Ale Guide. Brewdog, www.brewdog.com or brewdogbrewing.com. Brewdog.com. Thanks for watching another edition of the Real Ale Guide. If you want to get in contact with me, you can email me at realaleguide at googlemail.com. Facebook is www.facebook.com forward slash realalecraftbeer. And Twitter is twitter.com forward slash real health day. Thanks for watching another edition. Comment and subscribe. Cheers.